practice, don't I? But uh, hello, this is my uh, new guitar. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, I had it made for me by a friend, and whilst it was being made, I took the camera down because I thought it would be fun to, to actually have some film of a guitar being made. I'd never seen the process before, so let's go and see how it was done. Okay, here we can see some of the wood laid out in the workshop. It has to be kept at a constant temperature and humidity, and you'll hear the dehumidifier in the background. Uh, it's slightly thin here, but it doesn't matter, really, because not for guitars. But I mean, it, you know, it's quite amazing how rapidly you can form, form a curve. We'll just take this back a bit more and then come around the other way. Ah, oh, okay. So I've got this about the right heat now for this stuff. But provided you're careful, the waste is always a dangerous bit. And it yes. sometimes helps to support. But usually you can bend the rest of it dry. Probably still hot. But then nicely cooked by now. Not bad at all. These are all trimmed to size now. Yeah. And, uh, both sides you're holding there. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. Excellent. Uh, yeah, but matched. You can see where they are. Yeah. That's a little, little bit cleaner, but uh, I, I popped the tape on them so that they would uh, keep together in uh, yeah. mould and be perfectly aligned. So, so how thick is that now? That's 3.5 mils. 3.5 mils. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a little bit little lower there, but it doesn't matter too much. I'll have to clean this up again now. Cut it down quite hard. Yeah. So uh, that's the basic thing. So we've got the. Uh, oh, wow. You know, shape of the guitar. Any chance? So, how, how do you get that heel there then? Well, you just layer, layer the bits of wood. How many layers are in there then? Well, it's uh, this plus one, two, three, four. Four pieces of, okay. pieces of timber. All glued together, right? Yeah. And then you've got your, obviously that's your heel, Yeah. that's your foot, Okay. so that supports the back, Right. and this it isn't usually in Spanish guitars, usually it just comes straight up ah, here, okay. but I like to have it supporting the fingerboard, because okay. it gives you a lot stronger and a lot more rigid structure. Right. So there's a carbon fibre insert up yeah. at the centre yeah. of the neck, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That base, which side's out here. That's wrong. Okay, so okay. The, the ends of the sides get wedged into that. That's right. Oh, I see. And that, yeah. that pulls them hard up against the heel. Oh, right. Okay. And gives you a really good joint. Okay. Wow, okay, so you've got the slots and yeah. the slots and you know, holes wow. in the machines yeah. get all drilled. There's your sound hole. Excellent. And let's get the centre on first. That's right, that's uh, my highly inflammable cellulose which expands in the can. So the idea is to get a good mitre joint in there. Perflings. stuff about this glue is it's water soluble as you can see so you don't have any problems getting rid of the squeeze out I've tried several and um, this is the best here we can see Dave sorting out the frets on the fingerboard, filing them down to make sure that there's no rough bits on them. And then it's pretty basic stuff, uh, shaping the neck, the back of the neck, and you can see him just working with a chisel and uh, various files and things to get the shape that we needed.
all that was left after the neck had been shaped really was the the uh, the finishing gluing on the bridge and then uh, putting on the coats of varnish and things like that so here's some photographs of the finished guitar Okay, well, hope you found that interesting. Catch you again sometime. Bye.